Today we're gonna to be talking about the Agent Boy Crips, the one two twenty sixes, the ABZs. Even though the Asian Boy Crips are a newer gang compared to a lot of the older gangs in California, they have a notorious reputation and numerous stories that have earned the gang the respect in the streets and have a long history that has a huge attachment to California. It's definitely a lot to go over. Before we get started though, let me get a like and subscribe from the gang. Yeah. Alright. Welcome to Cali's Most Dangerous. Let's get into it. Danger rating for the Asian Boy Crips. The Asian Boy Crips are getting a danger score of a 7.5 out of 10 because of the gang's history in not only Long Beach, but around California and the nation as well. These guys don't play around. They have several OGs and reputable members who have earned the gang the respect in the city. But why so high or even so low for some of y'all? That's damn near a solid C plus if we were gonna put that to grades. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the score. Cause I wanna hear some explanations on why y'all feel like I should go higher, or even lower. Let's have a debate. Let's have a conversation about this. Here's a few reasons for why I gave him the score though. On November 5th, 2004, Edward Brooke Peretat, a member of the Chinatown Boy Gang, a rival with the Asian Boy Crips, drove to Tapioca Express, located on 228 West Valley Boulevard in Alhambra. This was a popular place to be at the time, so it was crowded and people were standing outside the location with friends. After Edward arrived to Tapioca, he met several of his friends, including Lucas Liu and Brian Chang. The three men stood outside with seven or eight other friends, Edward's face was turned towards Tapioca when he heard someone yelling from a white Honda Civic that had been stopped in the street. There were two people in the car, the shooter, that time in, and the second person was in the front passenger seat. Edward heard words, where you from? And he replied, Chinatown boys. After his response, he asked the man in the Honda, where you from? The man in the Honda replied, Van Nuys Asian boys. And like already mentioned, the two gangs are rivals. That's what Edward asked the Honda's occupants. So what's up? An occupant replied, what's up? Second later, Edwards heard someone in the Honda say, fuck you. To Edwards and the group he was with, then shots were fired. Edward was about 12 feet from the Honda and saw sparks coming from it. He heard three to four shots. Edward fell having been shot in the hand and the leg. A female bystander named Jasmine Lang was also hit, but sadly she passed away due to a gunshot wound to her head. After testimonies and statements from Edward and several witnesses who was at the scene, Najin was sentenced to life in prison. In mid-January in 2007, in Fresno, California, an Asian boy Crip member named K.O. was jumped by some Tiny Rascals gang members, or some T.O.G.s, which is a rival gang of the Asian boy Crips. Well, K.O. was heated. He went on all the smoke after that. It was time for war. K.O. and his fellow Asian boy Crips members will retaliate and shoot up some houses in the T.R.G.'s territory. This sparked some tiff for tax between the gangs with the TRGs coming back to shoot up KO's mom's house. Of course, this provoked KO even more. It was way close to the home. Matter of fact, this was home. He was out for blood after that, and it wasn't too far away. On January 31st in 2007, in Fresno, California, the Asian boy Crips met up to figure out the next move. Revenge on the TRGs. They met and decided to get more guns to do a hit on the TRGs. To all you youngins and inexperienced, a hit is basically catching a body. On that night, the ABZ members, Jose, Chia, Chan, and his girlfriend drove to the TRG's territory. They arrived in part by Easter Bay Elementary School, across the street from an apartment complex that the TRGs are known for hanging out in. Chia and Jose got out of the car, crossed the street, and proceeded to enter an apartment. Once inside, they fired multiple shots towards a crowd of people who had been talking amongst each other. 
The two men ran back to the car and Chan and his girlfriend drove off. The result of the incident left one female who was eight months pregnant shot. And sadly, she passed away from her wounds. Several witnesses saw the murder and later testified how everything played out. And as a result of the shooting, Chan's girlfriend was sentenced to life, along with Jose and Chia. However, Chan was deemed incompetent to stand trial. On January 16, 2014, at 5.20 p.m., a team of officers with the Fresno Police Department was attempting to locate an individual with an outstanding felony warrant and had his residence under surveillance. Officer Swanson was watched in the backyard when he saw two Asian males, neither of whom was a target of an arrest warrant, exit the basement and alerted the other officers by radio. Officer Civilian and Garinger left the nearby staging area and drove to the front of the residence in a marked patrol vehicle. They saw two males, later identified of Joseph Joe Chandler and Wilson Chetanavaxi, two known Asian boy Crips, cutting into the front yard residence. Wilson was wearing a red hat and a red shirt, and Chandler was wearing dark clothing. Civilian, who was driving, pulled in quickly behind an SUV that was parked in the driveway next to the residence. The rail saw a man and a woman, both Hispanic, standing nearby. Wilson Chandler stopped in front of the SUV, but officers lost sight of them due to the SUV's darkly tinted windows. After putting the patrol vehicle in park, Savannah heard a smack and felt glass particles hit his face and debris hit the left side of his vest. He heard approximately four shots and smelled gunpowder. The ringer also heard approximately four shots and felt glass hit his face. Both officers of the patrol vehicle took cover behind him. After other officers arrived, civilian and Guerrero were able to move back from their patrol vehicle and they saw Wilson lying under the front of the SUV. Chandler had fled out. A witness who had been a passenger in the SUV testified that the driver pulled into the driveway and they got out. She saw the two Asian men she did not know, but they were running towards her. The man in the baseball cap and facial piercing identified as Wilson asked if they could hide as the patrol car was right behind him. Janae heard Wilson tell the man, identified as Chalia, fuck at them fools, fuck at them fools. He said the defendant hesitated and looked like he didn't want to, but he pulled a gun from his waistband and fired multiple times towards the officers. Five 40 caliber cases were recovered from the scene. Officer civilians and officers rear patrol par had sustained damage to the driver's side air conditioning vent, the windshield, and a bullet where was recovered from the dashboard. None of the pigs were hit, but the court sentenced Chandler to 35 years in life in prison with the possibility of parole. Look, man, that's just a few stories about the ABZs, though. Like, these cats is known for way more. Like, I can sit here and talk about hours for these fools, but they got a lot. You can go ahead and look up the game link. It's still posted on YouTube. You can look that up. But it's several other storylines beside that that, like, don't get it twisted, man. These Asian cats, the ABZs know more than they one, two, threes. I can guarantee you that. Like, they would all let action. I can promise you that. But look, though, man, this is not a game you want to look forward to going against. But honestly, who are these guys, man? What's their history? What's, you know, who are their reputables? How active are they? You kill my homeboy, I kill your homeboy. The violent gang left a trail of blood all over the Los Angeles area as Suthi men, Sam Chan, and Marvin Mercado. Your tip snapped two of the gang leaders, Suthi Men and Sam Chan, but Marvin Mercado is still on the loose. Mercado shouldn't be too hard to spot. He's got one of these dragon tattoos on his back. So we're about to go over all that as we explain who are the Asian Boy Crips. Formed in the late 1980s, the Asian Boy Crips are a predominantly Southeastern Asian American gang crip originated in Long Beach, California. That big bad east side to be exact. Even though the Asian boy crib started in Long Beach, they have subsets all over California and even have branched off to several states and countries as well. 
A few of the known subsets that actually been around before are around the same time of the formation of the Asian Boy Crips. They include the Asian Boy Insanity. The Asian Boy Insanity was an independent gang that operated in Chinatown, Los Angeles, and parts of the San Gabriel Valley in the 1980s and like the late 80s as well. The Asian Boy Insanity was predominantly Chinese and Vietnamese. The other Asian gang that integrated into Long Beach's Asian Boy Crips was called the Van Nuys Asian Boys, or the Asian Boy Style, ABS, which started in Van Nuys, California. And despite the Asian Boys, the ABZs, the Asian Insanity, and the Asian Boy Style starting out as independent gangs, all three gangs already had close ties to one another, and they were close friends and families involved in the gangs as well. Thus, this made it easy for the three gangs to act as a single entity and thus officially emerged, calling themselves one gang, the Asian Boy Cribs. And with around 2,000 to 2,500 active members in Long Beach alone, they're the deepest Asian gang in the city. And these niggas are with the action too. I know some cool ass Asian boys. They killed it in the class. Of course, they murdered it in sports, but don't get it twisted. They would definitely body you too if you test it. With that being said, they're not only deep locally, they have around 15,000 members around the nation. The Asian Boy Crips are one of the biggest Asian street gangs in the United States. And even though he definitely ain't no mark, don't get it twisted. Don't, don't try him. Don't try him at all. You're going to regret it. The Asian Boy Crips have a lot of other reputables and even rappers other than Stupid Young. We got a gang of Asian rappers. I'm not the only one. We got like like 30 and, and half of them is good and sound, not sound black, but sound street and ghetto. None of them sound like, you know, them far, them far be Asians. We got a gang of, I'm proud of the Cambodians over here that rap. I got enemies that rap too, you know, and they, they could pull it off too. I ain't gonna lie and shit. They have several stories, like the known killing spree known as Summer Madness, which set off a war with the Watching in the late 1990s. And they also have an intense rivalry with the Tiny Rascals game that's still going hard to this day. The Asian Boy Crips OGs was actually members of the Tiny Rascals games, but branched off and became their own game due to conflict within the Tiny Rascals game. All right, look, we're gonna get into all that as we address the history of the Asian Boy Crips. History of the Asian Boy Crips. What card they run with? Subsets, clicks, allies passing current beefs, and a lot of other things. The Asian Boys Crip history and formation is based off of the demographics of Long Beach, California, and other counties in California as well. Two of the biggest populations of Southeastern Asians in the United States is in Lowell, Massachusetts, and Long Beach, California. This was due to the Cambodia genocide, which took the lives of over two million Cambodians. In 1975, led by Pol Pot, the rebel group, the Khmer Rouge, took over Cambodia and began a period of massive repression and genocide. Over the next four years, nearly a quarter of the population was either murdered, tortured, or starved. A lot of the refugees escaped war and came to the United States and migrated to different pockets, particularly like the already mentioned, Lowell and Long Beach. But let's get into the Long Beach. Long Beach, let's zone in there. Upon arrival to the city, the Southeastern Asians were quickly victimized and bullied by the already settled population of the Mexican gangs in the area. They spread out. It's just, um, you know, the little war, the Khmer War that was going on when they was killing our own people. They had to get away from that, so they came over here. You know, large population came over here. And now it's like they made a Cambodia town. This Cambodia, like Long Beach, Cambo east side is Cambodia town. You got uh, Anaheim Street, the whole Whole Anaheim is Cambodia town. This was during an era when gangbanging was at its peak. Most gangs in California back then was created to protect themselves against enemies and to have a brotherhood to depend on. This is exactly what the Asian Boys Crips case was. Smaller Asian gangs began to pop up and form like the West Side Islanders, the Santanas, the Bobel Boys, the Six Six Sigmas, the Rolling Pinay Gang, and the Tiny Rascals Gang. The Asian Boys Crips formed in Long Beach due to the original TRGs having issues with each other in the gang. This caused members to break apart and create their own gang in the late 1980s, the Asian Boy Crips. 
The Ace Boy Crips used the numbers 1, 2, 26 to symbolize their gang too. The 1 stands for the first letter of the alphabet, A. The number 2 stands for the second letter of the alphabet, B. And the 26, that stands for the last letter of the alphabet, Z. The ABZs. The Ace Boy Crips don't run with the card, but they are deep enough to hold their own with any game who wants to smoke. In terms of colors, they wear a lot of navy blue. They Crips, cuz. The ABZs are also known to wear the Atlantic Braves, the Anaheim Angels, and the Oakland Athletics attire as well. The Asian Boy Crips are mainly a Southeastern Asian game, but they are known to put on other races. It's Filipinos, Koreans, Vietnamese, even some blacks, some Mexicans, and some whites from the sets as well. And combined with the subsets around the nation, these guys are deep, bro. Like, deep, deep. Like, deep. They have around 15,000 members in over 28 counties in California and 14 different states. And these niggas are not to be tested. It's not a vest you can step with because they is not looking for a chest hit. Bars, nigga. <laughs> nah, seriously though. Being that deep means they're gonna have a lot of enemies. And there's gonna be war with anybody. They don't play. If you want war, they gonna bring it. Rivals of the Asian Boy Crips. The ABZs are rivals with the Westside Pyro Bloods and pretty much most other Bloods. The Valero Street Gang, the Chinatown Boys, they are also in a daily war with the Longos, particularly the East Side Longos. That's still going hard to this day. They are also in a daily, deadly like this feud has been going on since pretty much the start of the Asian Boy Crips and Long Beach. And they in war with these fools. They've been at it with the Tiny Roscoes. And I don't think that's gonna stop either, man. Like, they've been going at it, like. And because, like I said, the, the members from the TRGs, they broke away from the game and they start their own thing. The Asian Boy Crips, you know what I'm saying? And of course, that was conflict. And matter of fact, the Asian Boy Crips on the alliance with a few other Asian gangs in Long Beach, which includes the Suicidal Town Crips, the Exotic Sally Crips, and of course, the Asian Boy Crips, called the Sea Alliance. And the TRGs, they were supposed to be a part of this alliance, but due to a murder spree by a black member of the TRGs known as Loki against members of the sea and several other situations, any talk of them joining, I was done with. This ultimately intensified the war between the gangs too. I made a video about the TRG that addresses the beef even more in depth. So y'all make sure y'all go check that out. Make sure you subscribe first, of course. Hit that bell and check it out after this video. And there's another YouTuber known as Sergio Quan. He made a cool, dope video about Loki. If you guys wanna go check it out, just look him up, Sergio Quan. Uh, of course, man, you guys won't regret that, okay? Uh, but look, that's after you finish this video, like and subscribe, of course. But look, trust me, all the above wars, they got real for each other, I promise you, and they still real to this day. But the most intense game be for, you know what, war. Like, this was a war, like a massacre down there. Matter of fact, it's gonna be with the watch in. Beef with the watch in. The start of this beast goes back to the 1990s. Ball on the murder night was filled with about 50 people, including some small children, and left a lasting impression on Officer Carroll about Asian gangs. I wouldn't say they're more violent, but they seem not to be as worried about the consequences of using violence. A watching gang member, Fwung Mac Lee, also known as Michael Lee, yesterday entered a guilty plea in exchange for 10 years in prison. He is the other pool hole shooter. Yang is scheduled to go to trial on murder charges later this month. They believe this murder sparked a chain of at least 10 others senseless killings in the LA area by Asian boys gang members. Asian gang investigator, Deputy Bill Howell. I thought that uh, uh, these types of groups would emerge about five years from now. And in reality, they emerged last year. Before we get into that, just a brief history of the Watching. They were a Chinese American criminal organization, a street gang that was formed in San Francisco, California in 1964. And they have been involved in crimes including narcotic sales, racketeering, gambling, murder, and so much more. Well, the Watching and the Asian Boy Crips didn't get along. 
They thought the eggs of Boy Chris were impure due to the mixed nationalities in the group, so it was always smoke whenever they were running to each other. But the start? The start of this war happened after the murder of Lee Meek. Meek was a Cambodian refugee living in the United States who was a member of the Asian Boy Crips, particularly the Van Nuys Boys. Meek was murdered in a gang shooting by Wachin gang members at a pool hall in El Monte, California. On Friday, December 3rd, 1993, 18-year-old Lee Meek, nicknamed Kicker, went to a pool hall located in the working class area in San Gabriel Valley in El Monte, California. The pool hall was a hangout spot for the Asian boy Cribs. And Meek, who was only 18 years old, he wasn't a scrub. He was always known for carrying weapons on him. And on that night, Meek carried a 45 caliber pistol with him and was ready for violence. Not long after his arrival, 20 white team members arrived at the hall. Meek reportedly started mad dogging him, staring the gang members down, basically trying to mark him out. He allegedly walked around and flashed his pistol on multiple occasions in an effort to intimidate the rival gangsters. Some of the gangsters left, they was over it, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes the smarter heads prevail, you know, but a number of them stayed behind and Meek continued to mock them. Meek kept pressing them, walking by the rest of the members while they were leaving. But as he turned back, he was wrestled to the floor by a team member. A 19-year-old Cha Ling would gang wrestle Meek to the floor. And he and other several watching members tried to drag Meek outside. The Asian boy Crips in the pool hall attempted to help Meek by attempting to, you know, attack the other guys with pool halls and whatnot like that. They're running up and everything like that. One of the other guys even tried to like go grab a pistol. It was on the side of the pool hall and he walks back. But when he goes back, you see like the gun, it jams. So it, it was it was done after that. So, you know, they all backed up. You know, Meek was still being head down on the floor. It was alleged that his gun was taken for him during this whole little struggle and everything like this. At this point though, another Watin gang member entered the hall and opened fire with a pistol sending people inside the pool hall running and screaming. People inside the pool hall took cover behind pool tables and Meek was dragged outside. Yang peered into the pool hall and opened fire at the Asian boy Chris members with the gun he had stolen from Meek. Meek managed to break free and outside he attempted to tackle Yang but he failed to do so. At that point, he ran into the pool hall and tried to take cover behind running the pool table. Yang, however, shot him and followed him into the hall. Meek was shot five times in his body as he took cover behind a pool table. Yang chased after him and fired two shots into Meek's head as he lay on the floor. Yang then fled and Meek died a short time after. The murder was caught on camera by four surveillance cameras installed in the hall. After the murder, the Asian boys declared war on the watch in. As a result, it influenced a number of other gang murders and shootings in the LA area. And they called this Summer Madness. This spree claimed the life of over 14 individuals and sent other members to prison as well. The Asian boy Crips and the White Team did not have war anymore with trust. They still hate each other to this day, man. What do y'all think though? Any tens of the fuel just like coming to an end? Is there any truce? You know what I'm saying? Like, can they put differences aside? Like, get money? You feel me? Like, what do y'all think? Y'all let me know in the comments. Let's have a conversation about it. Allies of the Asian Boy Crips. Allies of the ABZs include the Suicidal Town Crips, the Exotics Family Crips. Like already mentioned, the three games are an alliance called the C. They're also cool with the Insane Crips, the Rolling 20 Crips, the Sons of Samoa, the Black Bandit Crips, and the Serenio Gang known as the 18th Street. Because Long Beach is not really divided by blocks like that when it comes to gangs, you pretty much see the Asian Boy Crips function in the, you know, all the above mentioned gangs, whether it's in the music videos or, you know, just on the block. You know, like I said, of course, you know, all the gangs got their own little similar blocks, but low key, like, man, a lot of these blocks are shared by different gangs, even rivals. So you'd be surprised when you come to the beach. You'd be very surprised. Prominent figures from the sets. Who the OGs, the YGs, the rappers, shit like that. The Asian Boy Crips have a lot of members who have earned the gang and respect they reserve to this day. 
Some of the OGs include Sam Chang, Marvin Mercado, also known as Sad Boy, and his brother, Pierre Mercado, also known as Boo Boo. They have some rappers who have been putting in work for the set as well. First is Stupid Young. You had to been like living under a rock or something if you don't know about hits like Mando, Trust Nobody, Never Been The Same. It's safe to say, man, he's crossing over into the mainstream land, which is a huge accomplishment coming from the east side of Long Beach. Like, for real, man, y'all gotta give Stupid Young his flowers, bro. Like, this dude, this nigga is like in every video you will see him in, like, every video with, with, you know what I'm saying? Like, whether it's in Long Beach, you know what I'm saying? Outside in LA, bro. Like, and get it, man, his respect, too, man. He's didn't come a long way. Like, the, the, man, this nigga got bars. Like, if you don't know about Stupid Ram, his raps, none of that. Go look him up, like for real. Just I, this is when I will allow you to stop the video right now. Just go look him up. But first, hit that subscribe button. Next up, we got our blue. He's an up and coming artist from the set. Caught him smoking in the alley, good timing. Can't really see the rest, you can guess. We the reason why that nigga mama stressed. Put the metal to your chest like a surgeon. If a homie get chipped, then we purging. And I'm something like a reaper, so surgeon. Tattoos on me, I earned it. He's hard too, man. Like a lot of potential. He just needs that song or that tape to like really break him on the west. Like, but he's definitely worth the listen. Go look him up ASAP. Like I heard a few of his songs with the speeches with Scoopy Young and everything like that. And he got bars, like catchy lyrics, all that. But like I said, he just needs that. I, I feel like he just needs a fire tape, bro. Just a load up all the bangers, man, and just, and just drop it. Video after video after video. Just let him go, bro. Just like that. But nah, he hard though. He hard. Definitely look him up. All right, current state of the ABZs. The Asian Boy Crips are still one of the most active gangs in California. Hey man, like trust me, these niggas is not to be tested, man. They not just good in the books, man. These Asian Boy Crips, they crooks, man. Hey, don't try them, man. And that could be your life, man. It could be took. Bars, nigga. <laughs> Look, like I already mentioned, they already have sets in several different counties, man. They include sets like, and like subsets in like the Van Nuys, Orange County, you know, San Diego, Garden Grove, Fresno, Stockton, San Jose, you know, out of the state. That includes like Kansas, Cincinnati, you know, Connecticut, North Carolina, New York, Minnesota, North, North Virginia, Maine, Georgia, Utah, Nebraska, Iowa, Massachusetts, and Texas. Y'all let me know in the comments if I'm leaving any of your states out, man. Rep for your state, man. Rep your state. In conclusion, if you ain't get anything else from this video, know the Asian Boy Crips are not a gang you want to come across. If you a op, man, you just might end up dropped, man. You might end up popped, man. Like, don't play around. Like, you're going to end up shot. <laughs> Look, man, I know some cool-ass Asian Boy Crips, you know. Never want to start any issue, but trust, they will finish whatever you're trying to start. You know, even they, they're, you know, they're a newer gang compared to like other gangs and everything like that in California, but they still well respected and, you know, new, and they, they got numerous stories to back it up. But y'all let me know in the comments how y'all feel about the ABZs. Any crazy stories? Anything I missed? Did I get anything wrong? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all let me know in the comments. Once again, I appreciate the support. I'm getting from you guys, man. Like close to 3,000 subscribers, man. Like this means a lot. Like the Danger Gang, man. We getting deep out here, bro. Like man, we we getting we getting deep, man. We going man, man. Let me stop, bro. But look, I'm out of here, man. Y'all stay stay for dangerous out there. Scar signing out.